or memorable and special to you? I, I, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna have to go with a, a blanket response on that one because every time I'm here, it's 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 fantastic and special. And um, uh, I, I think now you guys were on the show a little bit before me, so you had had a sort of a, a relationship with Vince Gill uh, mm -hmm. through through that, and um, but I hadn't. So. Um, it, it really shocked me the first time we were playing at the Ryman. Now, I, I had never done this. We, we played the Grand Ole Opry at the Ryman, and um, I was performing in, in Vince Gill's uh, section, and I was embarrassed to say hi. I was, I was just skulking around with my eyes down, and he came right up to me and said, Chris, it's good to see you, you know, and shook my hand and made me feel welcome and, 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 um, and excited to perform. And, um, that's what this town really has done for us. And when, when you when you ask about um, about do we feel interlopers or, or or did we take the side door in? And um, it, when when <laughs> Vince Gill gives you the the um, the good work and go get them, um, it's pretty hard to feel like that. And I say that's my sp my special memory. Yeah, kind of like Chris, I think all of us feel like every time we play here is so magical and special. I mean, I know that I don't tend to get nervous, but I'm so nervous here every time. Today was my ninth time playing here, and I stepped up to the wrong mic and then realized the circle was over there. <laughs> I mean, something like that I feel like happens every time. The very first time I was here, I wasn't performing. I think I was seeing you perform. It was the first time I was here. I had to go to the bathroom, I'm walking around backstage, and all I saw was a door that said women. And I walked into the women in country room, and like people were rehearsing, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is not the women's bathroom. So I mean, I feel like that, I just am kind of, it's an out of body experience for me every time I'm here, and I'm just kind of shocked, and now I know where the restroom is, but I don't know, obviously I still don't know where to sing. But um, yeah, it's, there's just something, you know, there's so much history here, and it's, it's crazy, but it's magical. Um, I just have one more thing to say. When I was, I, one of my, my first time when it was the Operate the Ryman, I remember I went out and I was so nervous. As I said, I was trying to stay centered enough to do it. And I did my song, and then the Opry Square dancers came over, and in that moment they said, right, come on out and dance. And, uh, and uh, Marcia, I believe, was the one that grabbed me. And, and I was, believe you me, made to feel as though this was an Opry tradition that after you made your debut, you danced with the Square dancers. I had no desire to do this at all. So I went out and I was like, all right, well, let me see. And so I went out there and squared <laughs> And they're all in tears and laughing. What a, a good sport. And it was only after I got off stage that I found out that there was no tradition involved in that at all. It was just, just the sucker that didn't know the story. But I say that my, one of my favorite moments, and I couldn't even tell you what night it was, but it was, occurred to me that one night, there were so many nights um, that I that I couldn't just sit into it and I couldn't just be there. And it was only uh, fairly recently, maybe a couple months ago that I performed here and I suddenly realized in the middle of the performance that maybe for the first time ever, I was getting to just be there and stand truly present um, in that circle at the Grand Ole Opry and just live that moment. And uh, if I never got another one, I got that one. And uh, lo and behold, we, we have been able to get other ones, and we're so grateful to it, and we're so grateful to the Opry family for, um, as we said, making us, it wouldn't be possible if you weren't made feel welcome here. You couldn't do it. Um, the combination of kindness and talent and the musicians and the people that run this place is the only thing that makes it possible at all, and so we're grateful for that.